Hello there everybody, it is me Fizer Bunny, and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. So today's build is a little bit unusual on the channel because we are building a starter home. Now I say that because starter homes are kind of few and far between on the channel. I normally do medium to large size builds because to be honest there's really not much to do when it comes to starter homes you have to work within a budget and i just can't work with limitations sometimes but this time i felt really inspired to do a desert starter after seeing this house on twitter which reminded me of the house from the movie ingrid goes west for those of you who follow me on twitter you've probably already seen that tweet from a couple of weeks to about a month ago um yeah if you want to check that out you might have to scroll through a bunch of my previous tweets to get to that but i was really inspired by that house that's why i decided to do this Joshua Tree Starter. Now this house is named after the Joshua Trees, of course, that are in the front and backyard of this house. Um, so this house ended up being under 18k, which actually is quite surprising for me, because usually I struggle, you know, building something under 20k, but this one somehow managed to be under 18k, which is kind of a miracle, not gonna lie. Um, also, believe it or not, this is also a limited pack only build, so I only used 8 packs in this build. Eco Lifestyle, University, Island Living, Get Famous, Seasons, Strangerville, Jungle Adventure, and Tiny Living. Those are the only packs I used here. I also used the Holiday Celebration DLC. Um, so yeah, I think the only item I used from Island Living is actually the sofa in the living room. And of course I had to use Strangerville for the plants because Strangerville actually came with some really really good desert plants. Um, so I use a lot of those in this build as well. Um, I remember when Strangerville came out, I think as much as we give that pack you know a lot of flack i think we owe it to strangerville for the unlocked debug category because if you remember when strangerville came out a lot of people complained about the plants not being accessible in build by mode and then the sims team really quickly remedied it by enabling the plants on the show hidden objects category and then shortly after that they gave us the cheat you know, the amazing, amazing BB dot show live edit objects cheat, which basically unlocked um, most of the world decorations. So, I mean, that's probably just me. There wasn't really an official announcement about this, but I feel like we owe it to Strangerville that we have the live edit objects. But anyway, Back to the build, it's obviously a very simple house. I tried to compensate for the lack of furnishings with the structure of the house itself. So as you can see, it's actually pretty complex. Um, the main living area of the house has this beautiful feature ceiling with exposed beams, which I used mostly free items. I think the roofs are free, the beams are free, yeah. So it's a beautiful feature that doesn't cost you anything and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna use the debug items to the maximum in this build because I'm on a budget and obviously we still need to make this feel somewhat homey and I feel like we got the balance of it in the end. But for the exterior, it is a little bit boxy, which honestly, I don't have a problem with because in reality, a lot of houses are just boxes. Um, but I feel like somehow it did end up looking quite stylish in the end, even though it's kind of like a minimalist um, desert house. From the outside, it actually reminds me of like an adobe um, house. I think I should do a build about that in the future. Let me know what you think. Um, also, in other news, um, a couple of days ago, 
EA did announce, well, to be specific, SimGuru Lindsay announced that they were addressing the skin tone issue, of course, and what they're planning to do is actually patching in um, a color wheel, which don't get me wrong, I'm actually really happy that they ended up doing that, but can we all just remember the days when they tried to convince us that having a color reel wasn't possible because I remember that vividly and now they're just going to be like, okay, you know what, we're just going to give you color wheels. But having said that, I'm excited for the skin tones to be fixed and also SimGuru Lindsay also mentioned that they were going to give us more options to properly represent ourselves in game, which I don't really know what it means, but I'm looking forward to that maybe we can get an Asian pack. I know I wouldn't shut up about the Asian pack. People are probably tired of hearing it, but you know what? It's something that I feel very strongly about and I'm not ashamed of it. But for the interior, as you can see, we have those beautiful stucco walls, which believe it or not, are base game. The chimney right there is one of the items from the holiday pack, which you get for free. Oh, actually it's not a chimney, it's a fireplace. Excuse me, I'm not thinking right now. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a fireplace. It's not really a functional fireplace, but I feel like it's a nice little decoration piece. And that's the sofa I mentioned earlier that is from Island Living. As you can see, I'm also using a lot of crafted items from Eco Lifestyle because I noticed they're quite cheap. Uh, I think that's a nice little tip if you're ever considering building your own starter homes. Maybe unlock the debug category and give yourselves more options for items. Or if you want to, you can just craft them yourselves. It's probably cheaper, right? Or it's probably going to cost the same. I don't know. Um, by the way, that chimney that came with Eco Lifestyle is so beautiful, right? Like, look at how beautiful that is. So, this build is coming up on a Wednesday, believe it or not. I normally prefer to upload on weekends, but this time I managed to finish this build pretty early. Of course, it's a starter. So, happy Wednesday! Also, it's the last day of September. I would make a Wake Me Up When September Ends reference for those of you boomers who know that song, but I feel like I've already overused that. So anyway, for the kitchen, I just kept it really simple. I used um, the counters from Jungle Adventure. I think those are my favorite counters, I have to say. It's either those or like the minimalist ones that came with base game, but I really, really love those counters. And the swatches that they come with are so good. I wish they were this consistent about the swatches because sometimes, you know, the pack swatches are a little bit hit or miss. And in recent packs, I would say the swatches haven't been so good. And I'm looking at you, Eco Lifestyle, because, okay, don't get me wrong, I like Eco Lifestyle, but some of the swatches, like, we got so many orange woods, and they don't even have texture. You know, the wood, some of the wood textures from Eco Lifestyle, like, are just plain, and some of them are just. Don't get me wrong, like, some of the swatches from Eco Lifestyle are beautiful, like, the chair swatches are so beautiful, especially like the more worn out looking ones, but also some of them are just weird, especially like for the doors and windows, like are those supposed to be wood swatches? Why don't they have texture? I don't really know. So for the master bedroom, I really really love it. It's so simple, but to be honest, like what else do you need in a bedroom, right? So we do have that feature wall, which is this beautiful kind of grayish blue color. And I also used those um, globe lights from Ego Lifestyle. And as you might have noticed, I lowered them down slightly using the tool mod so that they would um, hang a little bit closer to the bedside tables. Um, I think my favorite item in the bedroom is actually the dresser because I used the swatch that had like the red accent color. Um, it's the dresser that came with Tiny Living and I really really love the mid-century vibes. Like I gotta say this place does have 
kind of a mix between mid-century and a boho vibes, right? So, I don't know. Is it wrong to, like, call it Coachella? Like, I don't know. I'm not gonna be, you know, pretentious enough to pretend like I know what Coachella is, but I feel like it gives off that vibes, right? Um, the bathroom is so simple. It's so basic because I was running out of money. Um, I couldn't even afford a bathtub, so I just got a shower and, you know, your basic essentials for your bathrooms. Also, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but for some reason my voice sounds a little bit raspier today. I don't know why. I just woke up like this. I had like some ginger tea to help with the voice recording, but I don't know what's going on. Hopefully it's not something too too crazy, if you get what I mean. And now we're moving on to the exterior and I gotta say I love how simple the landscaping on this was. Like I'm not even gonna pretend like I tried to fill it in because I feel like that just, you know, that's just the vibe of this place. You know, it's effortless landscaping for somebody who is buying a house on a budget, right? Uh, and I gotta say that the plants kind of help with that a little bit. I love that joshua tree in front i feel like it gives this house a lot of personality and i feel like 100 percent of these plants i used in this build are from strangerville so yes i also love that the only thing we have in the backyard are these lounge chairs and i did give them this you know pastel colors that remind me so much of like mid-century architecture and I think that's actually going to be it for this build. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. It's a little bit of a quicker build, but you know, I had a lot of fun. Let me know if you want to see more starter home for me in the future. And that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. You all have an awesome, awesome, awesome day. Enjoy the rest of the video and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.